Sandy Weil, former CEO of Citigroup, a financial industry legend, has great influence in the money game and in the accompanying world of politics. In the 1990s, he used his clout to change the rules of the game. He supported legislation that allowed banks, investment firms, and insurance companies to merge into one, earning him the moniker, the Shatterer of Glass-Steagall. In fact, he raved about it like he was in a Gilda Radner sketch. If they only show violins after 10 o'clock at night, the little babies will all be asleep and they won't learn any music appreciation. Major companies took advantage. The Democrats used this legislation to push for more low-income and minority lending programs. Coupled with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac's expansion of so-called affordable housing goals, we had a gargantuan housing bubble, and soon housing became quite unaffordable. Then the bubble popped, and years later we're paying dearly for Weil's idea to make super banks. The problem he helped cause has fueled the perception that these institutions were too big to fail, which then put American taxpayers on the hook for the bank's decisions to lend to those who could not afford to repay. In fact, we haven't recovered from the late 2000s financial industry collapse of the superbanks, with record foreclosures and home values continuing to drop. The American dream is being destroyed for millions. There are no apparent signs of any true turnaround anytime soon. Some say the America will never turn around. So Sandy Weil has decided to review the mess the government and banks have led us to. And hey, guess what? He's reconsidering. It's terrible the way things work. Mr. Teller. That was violence on television, not violins. Violence. Oh, well, that's different. Yes. Never mind. It's amazing what years of financial devastation can do for a financial guru's ideas, especially when his ideas help cause the problem. Of course, if these banks were not allowed to lend money into existence in the first place, nobody would care how big they got. But this is the world Sandy Weil helped create. And now all he can say is, never mind?